Hello everyone. In the Raspberry Pi series of the video, I will show you how to interface DST11 sensor with the Raspberry Pi and monitor the ambient humidity and temperature. This is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Dehradun. So let's start with hardware interfacing. This is a DST11 sensor that can sense ambient humidity and temperature of the atmosphere. It has three pins, top one is VCC, middle one is data pin and uh, last one is ground. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B plus board. So if you see a Raspberry Pi like this, then in the first row, the top most pin is 5 volt VCC. Second one is also 5 volt and the third pin is ground. And if you are looking for the fourth pin of the second row, then this pin is GPIO4. I am going to connect the data pin of the DST11 sensor to the GPIO4 pin of the Raspberry Pi. This is the circuit diagram to connect the DST11 sensor with Raspberry Pi. Take the three wires and connect the DST11 sensor to the Raspberry Pi. So the connection has been done. Let's connect the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, a Raspberry Pi has been powered up. Now let's access a Raspberry Pi using VNC viewer in my laptop. If you don't know how to access the Raspberry Pi through a Wi-Fi network using VNC Viewer, then you can watch my last video. Link is also available in the video description. This is a VNC Viewer to access my Raspberry Pi. I am connecting the Raspberry Pi through my Wi-Fi. As you can see, I have got the Raspberry Pi desktop. Open the Alex terminal. It is necessary to have Python 3 installed in the Raspberry Pi. So write sudo apt install python3 pip command to check that whether python3 has been installed or not. As you can see I have already installed it. Now install the dst11 sensor library through the sudo pip install adapt root dst command. Now, Go to the Raspberry Pi desktop and open the text editor. Now go to the video description for the DST sensor code. This code will redirect you to the Nutty Engineer blog. Here copy this code and paste it to the text editor. Now save this code with the name as dstsensor.py in the root folder. Now again open the alex terminal and write the sudo python dstsensor.py command to run the code that we have just created with the text editor. I think there is a some issue with wires. I am connecting them again properly. Run again the command. As you can see, our command starts printing the humidity and temperature in the terminal. So guys, this is how you can use a DST sensor to measure the ambient humidity and temperature using Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and videos. Let's shut it down remotely by typing sudo halt.